to questions. Thank you. Good to see everyone. Uh, on the injury front, uh, EJ Smith will be down this week. Uh, Casey Filkins will start. Um, we'll play multiple backs as we have in the past. Um, but excited about what Casey put on film last week. Um, I think there's some plays he'd also love to have back and looking forward to him um, having, a, having a heck of a game. Uh, goodbye week. Got a lot of guys rested. Um, uh, shifted our focus to the next portion of the season. Um, you know, next few games and now really just focusing in on Washington. Um, you know, coming back off of a off a difficult loss where we did some good things, but did not play well enough to give ourselves an opportunity uh to win the game. Um as said after the game and even last week, you know, turnovers are are focus of ours, not turning the ball over on offense and forcing turnovers on the defensive side. Um, thought in the second half, defensively, thought we played well. Thought we got more pressure on the quarterback. We're a little bit more active. Um, got some tackles for loss. Uh, kept them out of the end zone. So some things there that we want to build on. Um, but all in all, uh, we can play much better than we played uh, going on two weeks ago. And we're going to need to um, going up to Washington, playing against a very good football team that's playing fast and playing with a lot of confidence and making a lot of plays. So um, not an a insurmountable task. But at the same time, um, there's a level of football that we can play at that's much higher than we've played at so far uh, this year. So that's our focus. And, and Brendan Barrow and the respective things that each of those young men can do, and maybe even comparison uh, a little bit to Casey as well. I think with those those two guys, the, first of all, they don't have a lot of experience. Um, both guys have speed. Um, uh, Caleb's a little bit bigger. Um, Brendan may be a little bit faster, but both guys are quick and explosive. Both guys know what to do. Um, thankfully, we're able to get both those guys into some some game action uh, and uh, get them hit a couple times. Um, both guys weren't perfect in their time in, but um, I know Coach Gould's going to get them ready. They're going to get a lot of reps this week and uh, going to be ready to help us. Um, I'm I'm guessing that this week's preparation is somewhat similar to USC and that you're playing a team with a different coach with a different quarterback and, you know, a pretty dynamic quarterback. Are there similarities preparing for Washington as there were for USC? Um, different style of offense, um, but uh, very explosive um, athletic quarterback that can make all the throws. He's got a big time arm. Um, I think the best throw of the year I've seen, among anybody was a throw he made going to his left uh, down the right sideline or going to his right down the, down the right sideline for a lefty. And that was a, it was like the ball curved right where it was supposed to be. Um, this kid's got talent. It's been talked about for a long time. Um, so it's a, it's, it's going to be a challenge for us to keep him contained and then um, really play these, these receivers tight. These guys are making a lot of plays and uh, uh, it's going to be on us to, uh, to keep those explosive plays to a minimum.